We've managed to locate the sausage tree pride. Apologies for earlier, we were having some comms problems. Our radio is being attacked by gremlins. My name is Taylor and on camera with me today is David and this is live, this is happening right now. And I look forward to having some chats with you today. So if you have any questions, hashtag Safari Live and uh, you can chat to us on the YouTube chat. I'm just gonna swing us around quickly. The cubs are very playful this morning, aren't you little lions? We'll just keep trying to follow them. Oh, these guys are so great. I really am enjoying them and watching them grow. I look forward to spending the next couple of months with them. We'll just sit here for now and then we'll try and catch up to them again. There we go. There might be a little stalk attack happening on the left. There's our favorite little girl who's a little bit lighter in color compared to her siblings. Plenty of energy today. Belly's nice and full. There were a couple of hyenas that were hanging around, so I, I think they may have gone in and stolen the scraps of those warthog. I, I think they took care of that. I'm sure the lionesses would have moved off. There were quite a few of them. Must have been about six or seven running around in the grass, and I don't know if the lionesses would want to try and tackle hy well, so many hyenas with just their little cubs around. They'll definitely be fearing for them. Now, I'm a little bit concerned. I'm going to go forward again, and the reason why is because they're heading towards their favorite hill which is not really too good for us but it's, it makes for a very good resting spot there's nice trees for shelter nice and cool things to play on for the little ones now as we drive and we get another position on the youngsters Paulie, i'm wondering how old are the cubs it's hard to say but the two youngest cubs the two smallest ones must be about uh, just less than six months or so and the others are just over six months, like maybe between six and ten months, somewhere around there. Oh, they are playing. I'm going to try and get a spot quickly for us to watch them. But I'll try to get f as far in front of them as I can so we don't have to keep watching them disappear. That's normally the best way to do it with these sightings. Just watching the road as I drive so I don't hit any mounds. Okay, I'll turn now. This should be good. We can have them walk past us. They're very relaxed around the cars. They don't seem to mind us. Not one little bit. Okay, now we just got to wait to see where they're going to come up. I'm just do this, David, and then we can get them coming past us for a little while. Oh, my goodness. They're racing around. I don't even know where to look with these youngsters. Those are the adults. They're quite calm and relaxed this morning. They're just scouting out the area. And it's important that when they are moving around that the lionesses are in the front because they know where they've come from. They know what danger lies behind them. Behind them, sorry. And by walking up in front, they can scan and see if there's anything perhaps laying in the grass or sitting up on a termite mound, all those types of things. It can be a bit dangerous if the little ones run up. And we see it often with zebra. And we see zebra do it for an entirely different reason. They're worried about things like lions that would potentially eat them. The stallion takes his time surveying the area before he actually heads down to the water. And these lionesses look like they're taking it easy and also taking it just one step at a time. But they're the other cubs. They're going to come around now. You can see that they're racing and jumping on one another. It's always good to see them playing about. And we know how important it is for lions to play. You know, our cats and dogs at home, they love to play around when they're young too. It's their favorite thing. But... They've sort of lost their hunting skills. Don't, there's no need for them to hunt like the big cats out in wild Africa need to be able to. So that helps develop muscles. It helps them, of course, strengthen and... And, uh, sorry, I'm trying to concentrate. You know, let me listen to this question. Can I have the name again, please? Sir Jake, there we go. We were wondering, I'll get back to my other comment, why do lions like drainage lions so much? Um, it's a good spot out here, good spot to rest. It's often nice and cool. There's normally trees growing around it. There's, there obviously are a couple of Balanites trees and a, a few others scattered in and amongst the open plains. But sometimes it's nice to just sit on the drainage. Often There's often termite mounds around there which supply very good vantage points. But um, we see it in South Africa as well. They do the same thing. And in the drier seasons, which it is here, believe it or not, even though the grass is fairly green, 
It's the animals will go and feed along those drainage lines. So in South Africa, we know that the bulk of the animals move into that area, and that's where they will feed. And so the predators start lurking about and around there too. I haven't really noticed it too much up here, the animals hanging around the drainage lines. I suppose the browsers, it's um, more applicable because there's a variety of trees for them to choose from and shrubs. However, the grazers, I suppose the, gra the grass is a lot greener along the drainage lines too. There's obviously more water that's prominent in these areas. You might be able to hear some hammering. It could be quite faint in the distance. It's not a woodpecker. It is a breakfast stop that is being set up. So I, I, I assume that some guests are out on a hot air balloon safari and when they come back, they'll be having breakfast here. And these lions are not hanging around there getting out of this area. They're 